hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i am going to show you how you can connect it to a postgre sql uh, database using java jdbc okay so i am showing this in from uh, my eclipse ide i have my eclipse for java developers installed in my pc if you don't know how to install an eclipse id go to my videos i have another video how you can set up a java eclipse ide okay now I have my uh, Postgres installed, so if I'm just searching for my PG admin, so I have uh, uh, just opened my Postgres admin or PG admin. So my root password is uh, root itself. Let me log in, in that and just have a look. So in my server section, if I'm just uh, root, if I'm just opening that uh, Postgres, you can see my database is here Postgres. Okay, I have a database named Postgres. Okay. So I'm going to connect uh, to this uh, database uh, from my uh, Java Eclipse ID using uh, the JDBC code, okay? Now, uh, let me create a, a Java project. So right click and select new Java project. I'm giving the project name as uh, Java JDBC Postgres, okay? So give the any name i'm just uh, showing this an example let rest everything i'm uh, setting it as uh, default and uh, let the java project to be created okay so inside the src uh, package i'm going to create a package now and the name is uh, common you can give any a uh, name okay so let it be my name for my uh, project and uh, I'll create a package inside I'm going to create a class inside as uh, connect DB okay okay so I have uh, uh, just created the class here okay so inside this class I'll be writing the code for the connection to the uh, PostgreSQL okay first create a main method here so I have just created a main method here uh, first so uh, before starting we have to download the JDBC uh, PostgreSQL uh, jar file so which is gonna help us to connect to the uh, database okay so for that just go to your browser and search for JDBC PostgreSQL jar okay so once you search it you will it will take you to the official PostgreSQL JDBC driver page now just open this one where you can see a, uh, a link to download the java file okay so while i was creating this video this is uh, the version you can download okay so let me download that and uh, once it is downloaded you have to add this into your class path okay i'll show you how to so uh, the java file is downloaded i'm going to add uh, to the class path from here so go to uh, right click on your project and go to build path and go to configure build path and where you can see the java build path here okay here you have to add uh, the library in the library section you have to add the jars okay just click on add jar not here add external jar and uh, go to where your java file is uh, downloaded so this is the java file downloaded just double click on that and add that uh, uh, into your library section okay yes that's it now you are free to write uh, the course to connect your jdbc okay so first you have to you have to create a try catch block because it is uh, there is a, a possibility of uh, creating exception so it should be it should be under a try catch block okay and uh, you can print if uh, any errors are here okay so as a first step create a connection uh, object okay so it's like this connection it is uh, from java.sql okay so connection connection equals null just uh, initiate it like this so that you can use this inside okay so uh, now you have to register your driver class which means you have to specify java which type of database you are going to use okay so uh, i'm going to use uh, uh, as i told postgresql so it is uh, registered like this okay class dot phone name and inside this you have to give a set of strings which uh, is uh, which belongs to uh, the uh, postgresql okay so if it's a uh, so the string that belongs to the postgresql is uh, org dot 
force gray SPL door driver okay so this driver will load uh, the drivers of uh, the connectivity from the job file which we have imported here okay now now to get the connection to this connection uh, object you have to call uh, the driver manager class dot get connection okay so there is a class driver manager and uh, inside that there is a function get connection so inside this you have to specify the url and uh, the credentials of your database to get this connection perfectly okay so uh, to give the url and credential you can write you have to write like this okay jdbc colon post gray spl and then you have to specify your server name so it's localhost and uh, now uh, and uh, the port number where you have installed your postgres so by default it's a uh, 5432 and then your database name so my database name is uh, postgres so and then you have to uh, give the username and password for your uh, postgresql okay so in my it's uh, root and root okay username and password is root okay yes sorry the username is postgres itself in mine okay so the default is postgres okay not root yes so by this syntax it will get the connection with your uh, postgresql database okay so we can have a simple if else statement if uh, the connection is not null which means the connection is established you can have a print value here connection established and uh, if it's failed means it's still null after getting the connection uh, you can print here connection failed okay let's see what's coming now so if uh, this is okay it should get me printed uh, connection is okay or connection okay okay now let's go to run as and uh, this will be running as java application just select as java application and just check the console it is printing connection okay which means we have successfully connected to uh, our postgresql database okay now with this connection we can have all the connectivity uh, operations i mean all the operation with your postgre uh, database okay so uh, hope you got this if you have any doubt in this please comment below i will try to help you i will try uh, i will post uh, uh, this uh, source code in my description you can have it and in my next video i will show you by using this connection how you can call a select query from one of the table in that database okay so please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching